Good, Good morning. Good morning from Dordrecht. We made it. It's beautiful. Mm, it is <laughs> raining a lot. But, Again. <laughs> um, so the excursion choices for this morning are basically to stay in and around Dordrecht on a walking tour, go over and explore Rotterdam and Delfshaven on a walking tour, or go to, is it Horkum? I think so. It's like, starts with a G. And it's not how you say it, yeah. <laughs> I want to say the closest I'm going to get is Horkum and walk around on a walking tour or take a bike tour. Yeah. yeah. Huh. So we're going to get some breakfast. We're going to evaluate this weather. Really, i, I got to be real. The highlight of today for me is that this afternoon we're going to Kinderdijk and that's where the windmills are. Same, yeah. That's going to be my woohoo moment. But <laughs> going to breakfast and we're going to evaluate how we feel about walking around any of those options in the rain and we'll let you know well we also leave tomorrow and our clothes sure. have to be dry so like to fly back and we don't really have time to dry them out so we have to like think of these things you know yeah we'll so see. we might enjoy a pleasant morning on the ship tying up some loose ends like doing the survey packing. getting our gratuities together packing we need to check out the transfer options all that fun stuff there's stuff yeah. so let's start with breakfast and see what we do. Let's do it. Get out. We've got our fruit, orange juice, bread basket with the jam, coffee with the extra pot. I think we're set. <laughs> gone up we've got our luggage tags which we will be in the red group tomorrow oh cool little bridge down there yeah oh there's like beautiful white like goose oh hey beautiful white goose uh, yes. they could be swan gooses oh those aren't swans hey duck goose swans duck, duck goose oh hey coming over hey guys I had a bagel, but you can't have no, that, no. I guess. So. They're so cute. Wow. It's the welcoming committee Aww. for Dordrecht. Oh my gosh, this is the best. Good morning, friends. So we made the determination to sneak out in between the raindrops and check out Horkham. <laughs> Let's see if we can grab some Horkham tickets. There was a big traffic jam and I'm expecting them to be here within the next few minutes. I will let you know when it is time to board the buses. Well, we are all synced up to the yellow channel. There's going to be yellow and red. Yellow and red. Boom, right out onto the street today. There's our chariot. So we got off to about a 25 minute delay this morning because of traffic, but we're ready to roll. Oh, we got a fancy bus today with extra leg room, tray tables. Zang. Mercedes Benz. It's a Mercedes Benz bus. Fancy. took about a half hour to ride over here so it's 10 30 now and at 11 30 we have to be back on the bus to roll over to Amacerta so let's get a crash course in Harkin. People who don't want to do shopping and just have a bit more cool you can come with me then we uh, do some uh, more uh, things. The church of Belich in, uh, in the 19th century. And... Oh the wind is getting our umbrellas. So this whole church tower is leaning, so if you put your back on the wall, you just want to fall forward. Yeah, it's just later. That's funny. All right, moving on. 
Is this a potato market? Oh, that's fantastic. That's yeah, a whole market that stretches all the way down. Every Monday they do a market. Oh yeah, the red guy there looking at kind of like a medieval looking structure. Here's our guy up here. Santa Claus is coming next weekend. Come here to the harbor and then on this white horse. We were one week away from seeing Santa Claus on his white horse. Well, true. Oh, there's Santa Claus over there. Sometimes camera be sleeping. We've reached the old great market. They've got some festive lights up. Oh, big museum. Just learned about how the last suspected witch that was ever burned in Holland cursed this town with rain, and they get a lot of rain ever since they burned her. <laughs> Talking about cafes and things now, but we are here on a Monday, and Monday is a day that a lot of things end up being closed, we've learned. Well, I said you're free here. Okay, so this is where you can choose to either have free time for a half an hour or continue on with him and learn some more stuff. Sounds good, it's a cute town. I think most of the gang has decided to carry on with the tour, so let's roll. It's not super rainy, which is nice, just a little sprinkly, just enough to want to put that umbrella up. <laughs> well, we found Musker Station B. <laughs> I guess it is an assembly point. Oh, for the orphanage. You have to wait five minutes and go away. And you can put your baby in here. And it was until the 1960s that it has been used for this. Yeah, I'll peek down another alley now. There's a secret church, I want to say, where the uh, Catholic folk could gather and have their services. We've made it down to the old harbor now. Yeah, this is one of the classic pictures I've seen of this area. Usually full bloom with tulips and things like that, but not this time of year. It looks like a little lock over there. I see the red light. And one of these buildings was the home of the gentleman who I believe invented the oil street light. Santa Claus! Oh, this area used to be one of the old gates of the city. I guess there were four gates. No more. Because the trucks couldn't get through, so they took it down. Let's see if I can block any of this wind. It's a boat traffic out here. Oh, one of these. Cute. Kind of watching. Yeah, we've turned around now. We're going to head back through the gate. Oh, there's a bullet still on the facade of this house. From one of the wars, apparently. Wow. There's one of the old water pumps of the city where they used to pump up the old canal water, I guess for drinking. Hmm. That is, until there was a cholera outbreak and they figured out about bacteria. Maybe they're coming here to check to see if there's any cholera. We're okay. We're good here. Oh, we can get some better angles on some of these buildings that we were close to. What is that noise? Looks like some construction work. Another the old arsenal building now converted into apartments. That's where they would store a lot of their weaponry and whatnot back in the day. This is one of the old original defense canals and there used to be a wall right here because they surrounded the city with water to help with, you know, invasions and fun stuff like that. And you can probably air snorkel if you try hard enough. <laughs> mm, I mean, maybe not. 
And we're walking along the border of the old city now. Some former barracks buildings for the soldiers. Well, there's a slightly better angle on the leaning church tower. I guess if we try to hold the camera level to these buildings, yeah, you can see a little bit of lean there. Check out all these murals around here, too. Well, it's beginning to look a lot like Santa Claus. It's like art about an automated vending machine, or maybe they're gonna put one in there. Huh. Me. What is this? Memory bricks? Oh, it's eyes and teeth. Oh, he's got a nice cup of coffee there, too. Interesting. So there's about 50 all over the city, and they have different things, and then nobody knows who the artist is. It's pretty cool. Interesting. Interesting. It was, it was me, secretly. You did not do that. <laughs> cheese shop it's glorious even the bells are ringing for all that delicious cheese actually i think the bells mean it's time to get back on the bus i think it's 11 30. i've been wondering this whole time where i left my false teeth apparently it was back there in that alley are they... is this beauty and the beast it is how magical is that all right we gotta go they're playing disney songs and there's cheese There's our chariot, right on time. Welcome back to Alma Chapter. Just like that, we are officially on the move. I see they've opened that uh, bridge. I'm not sure if I showed the bridge earlier or not. Yeah, but that is a pedestrian and bicycle bridge that's relatively new. On we sail to Kinderdike. Goodbye, friend. We will miss you. It's time for lunch. I think we'll read the menu to determine if we want to do um, dining room or bistro. Hey, friend. St station. What was the name? name? Beef salad, green salad, ham wrapped sandwich, poultry soup, tomato soup. They've got Dutch hackballen, which is a minced meatball, Asian marinated trout, spinach ravioli. Huh. You know what? I think we're going to bistro. Oh, D is going for T mode today. <laughs> T for D. They have like a million T's. Or, you know, oh, the coffee Let's things. Let's do English breakfast. That's I need so. that, yeah. There is the official scaled down bistro menu. Perfect. Well, we'll just have a relaxed lunch up here in the lounge. Just watch the world go by. We should have about an hour of river time until we get down to Kinderdike. 
Y'all, we decided to try the cheeseburgers. I heard they were really good. And they come with these mystical, magical potato wedges that we keep hearing about. <laughs> uh, they look magical, I must say. Now, one thing, they, they, they got the meat to bun ratio. The, that, the meat game is <laughs> real strong. Yeah. It, it, it's a hangy, a hangy boy. Let's see if I do like that. Yeah, no, still, no, you're not gonna fix it. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, okay, well, we won't, oh no, we won't let you eat it. Okay, here, we're just, we're gonna enjoy. <sighs> it's like a UFO meat burger. Well, this must be the docking location for Kinder Egg. There's a Viking ship here. There's raindrops coming down. You can see the tops of windmills over there. That is exciting. Nice peek out that way. We're gonna have a little tour later where we get a closer view. Oh, let's get out of the wind. We're still negotiating our position at this pier. We've come back to the cabin to get ready for our tour. They have offered three slots for today. You can either go at 2, 2.30, or 3 o'clock, and we've chosen the 3 o'clock option. It's a cool tower over there. I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, we figure we'll just chill a while, take what might be one of the lesser popular groups, and the weather is kind of just supposed to be very light drizzle, hopefully, for the next few hours until all these tours get done. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon! So let's go ahead and wrap up the morning portion of our day, and then we can move on to some windmills. Yeah. So how was your, I guess you would say, Horkum? Horkum. Yes. Yeah, so I'm glad we went out and ventured even mm. in the little, well, a lot of rain. Um, beautiful little town, lots of history. Some things were closed so you couldn't experience everything. We didn't have a lot of time, but what we saw was extremely interesting. Lots of good photo opportunities. Our guide was extremely knowledgeable. Yeah. And he took the time to let you either go shopping and, you know, food if you wanted right. to, if you had time, or you can continue the tour. We did the tour with him. Yeah, I just thought it would be good to see yeah. more stuff and walk around, and I feel like we got a pretty good amount out of our yeah. hour that we had there. We so. did, actually. We learned oh, a lot. <laughs> we did. We saw all kinds of stuff. And things. Yeah. <laughs> so, there's the wrap-up on the morning. Oh, and the hamburger? Real good. Oh, yeah. Potato wedges. Amazing. We had heard that, like, they're different than the ones that you can get in the restaurant, supposedly, they right? Were. Or something. The one, I don't know what it is about them, but they were magical. They're in a wire basket. That is exactly <laughs> it makes what them makes them good. Better. I don't know. Anyway. Don't miss them, though, apparently. Now it's time for afternoon mode. Yep.